Ryan Gem with SAE's Automotive Engineering Magazine on the show for the SAE 2014 World Congress with Christoph Kemper of Rauschling Automotive. Uh, welcome, Christoph. Thank you very much, Ryan. Now, aerodynamics is a hot topic in the industry with uh, the push for greater fuel efficiency. Could you talk a bit about the role of aerodyn aerodynamics in this? Uh... Yes. Of course, if, if you see, let me say, if you look to the CAFE standards, the coming up requirements on fuel emissions, especially in North America, then you can improve it whether by downsizing um, the engines or to improve, let me say, the surface, the full body. If you see then the aerodynamic, there you can, there you can improve roughly 20% on aerodynamics of the all over behavior of the car. And uh, that leads, let me say, to um, to a very yeah, demand in the market in the future for aerodynamic parts. What are some of the solutions that are helping with this trend? Um, we are working on uh, active grill shutters. Um, those are assembled in the fascia like you can see here. Um, they are more or less they are active closeouts for upper and, uh, and a lower opening in front of the car integrated in the fascia. And, uh, and also, as you can see here, maybe on this car, on the outside, the outer louver openings. And that helps quite a lot. That improves. You, will, you, you can get there more or less 10 aerodynamic accounts, which leads then into a fuel emissions here, fuel improvement of 2 to 3% of the fuel consumption. And uh, with electric vehicles, uh, these technologies are suitable for this uh, application as well? Yes, for electrical um, cars, um, let me say there, for example, the Tesla car is, um, is also liquid cooled, the battery packet, uh, package is liquid cooled and therefore it's, um, it's very, let me say, ni not only nice to have, it's, it's very positive that they can control the battery temperature to, to make the battery temperature to have them stable. And that's a huge tool to help them with this. It's not only aerodynamic. And how about for trucks and buses, the commercial vehicle industry? Is, are active grill shutters or closeouts uh, um, suitable as well? That's a good point. We, we started developing on, on heavy duty trucks in Europe um, roughly seven years ago um, to develop also their active grill shutters. Um, you can see there on a Mercedes application on heavy duty truck also aero, also aero shutters. And um, this you will see, let me say, in a couple of years also here in the States. Now, light weighting is another major industry trend. Uh, is that something that Rauschling considers in its technologies, uh, particularly with the underbody? Uh? Yes, especially, especially there. We developed our own material. It's called Zeolite, um, and Zeolite is a low-weight reinforced thermoplastic, which, has, uh, which is very light. It's, uh, it's roughly 40, 50 percent lighter than, than normal PP applications for underbody panels. And it increases, on, then also it's good for the airflow if you cl close the complete underbody structure on, on cars. And uh, it helps then also, especially this material, it helps also the acoustics, the acoustics for those cars. Now, what's coming in the future for aerodynamic technology? Um, what we are working on is, um, is also engine encapsulation to cover, let me say, the, the thermal management of the engines themselves and this is um, what we see as a major step major next step to improve um, the all-over performance and efficiency of the cars and that's um, there we capsule the full the full engine and uh, together with the grill shutter let me say that's uh, the perfect combination okay great well i appreciate you talking with us today thank you ryan